Greetings from Atolia. I am the Lord Bones. Now, last week we happened to have only two episodes of The Witcher, basically because I was a little bit busy and pretty much exhausted on Friday when I had to edit a whole bunch of videos. But either way, we are now back with The Witcher and we're going to... Well, last episode we finished the Ladies of the Wood questline and now we're going to go and tell the Baron where his wife is and maybe he'll tell us where Ciri actually is. So, let's go straight to it. While in Crookback by Ciri had happened on the Crones. The beastly sisters took her in, then wavered, unsure if they should eat her or surrender her to the wild hunt. Ciri escaped before they could decide. Pursued by a spectral rider, she had fled into the swamp where Geralt lost her trail once more. He now needed a new lead. Okie koki. So that's basically where we are now. Our new lead. We don't really have one yet, but hopefully the Baron will give us that new lead. This here now is just a loading screen, essentially, I'm pretty sure. So what we're going to do now is ride, I guess, over to the Baron. So let's go and grab Roach. Over whatever roach actually happens to be. Our roach is right there. Okay, okay. so. Run, let's go. Yes, exactly. Run, roach. Well, we need to go 1,300 steps. And the two ways of doing this is either following the path in order to avoid any enemies, or there is going the long route, which is sort of. Roll the west. No, and the long route is what we're, on, what we're on right now, isn't it? The short route is us going via fast travel. But oh my dear lord, there are so many trees right here that we can't even go through here in any appreciable speed, can we? I'm not exactly sure, by the way, if that 1,000 steps actually is steps in terms of on the path or terms of... Oh, wait, where do we go? Okay, well, we don't want to fight that wavering, although it's only level 9. But we kind of need to go up here. Can we go up here? Yes, okay, we have to go over a bloody mountain. Oh, well, I remember this place, actually. We've been here before, I'm sure. Can you go over there? There you go, Roach. There's an invisible wall right there. I'm guessing so. Okay, so hopefully now the Buddy Baron will actually tell us what the hell happened to Siri. I'm guessing this will be the last line of Valen. And I'm fairly... Su oh, what the frick? Get off. My dear lord, you can't stop fast enough on this game, can you? Oh, these are just, these are just guys. He's ours? Who's ours? Oh, we've killed the guy already. We've failed the quest, but... Okay, that's fair enough then. Whatever quest was here just, we kind of failed it, I'm pretty sure. Who are those up there? Are those... No, they're wolves. Nothing to do with anything. I'm pretty sure whatever quest was here, we kind of failed it because I couldn't stop in time from Roach. So never mind, we'll just go and grab all the stuff that we can find. Is there any more loot anywhere? There's a bit of loot over here. We can go sell this to the blacksmith, I think, and maybe make a pretty penny out of it. Let's do that, do that, and get back on to... Wait, is that another... Is that X another loot thing? Yes, it is. Be careful, rabbits. Or hares, I suppose. There are wolves right around the corner. Okay. You can tell they're more of a hare because there's more of a gap between the legs. But obviously I didn't get that close, so you wouldn't be able to see that. Oh my dear lord. Okay. Up here, come on. And let's go across the entire thing. Now we've only got a thousand steps left now. Hopefully we don't end up seeing too many more people dying at our hands of not stopping Roach quack and quick enough. But you know. I think there's a, a little uh, thing that sort of happens, I think, in this game quite often. Which is that, although you basically get free reign of an area when you go there, the game still takes you in places where you have no idea just how, just where you are, just how you even got there and where you actually are. And that is the situation we're in now, and it probably will be until we get to somewhere familiar. I've no idea who sells that there is. But until we get somewhere familiar, I don't think we're actually going to be able to detect where we actually are. And do we know where we are now? I don't think we do still. Oh, horse stamina is back up, but I maybe don't want to go full speed. So now this, this is Linden Vale. Go, okay. Go. Okie dokie, I don't think I've ever been here before. Obviously not, because otherwise it would have told me, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh, what the frick? Oh, there are fights. Yes, there are fights right there. Shall we maybe take these uh, things off this board over here? I think that is a good thing to do. So we've got two contracts here. These stamps here are the contracts. So monster in the manor and God's knows what on. Oh, and another contract on the end there. Do you mind not moving away, Roach? 
So let's go, actually, let's go see whether or not these here are actually available level to us. So we're level 9 at the moment, aren't we? So let's go see if uh, any of those two were actually, were actually fine for us to actually do now. Okay, so, ooh, never mind. Dear Lord, suggested, suggested level 26. We'd have, we'd have to come back, for, oh, 33. We'd have to come back for some of these, I think. We can do a few of these. Not very many, to be fair. We're a bit low level. I think, to be fair, what I might have to do at some point is just off camera or maybe on stream just go around and level up by doing all the little side missions or the little things that you kind of well they're not entirely interesting to do Ooh, we can go there actually before we leave let's just go over to this blacksmith over, the blacksmith over here i'm going to repair my sword in my actual other save of this i was actually much higher level than i am now to be fair at this stage so I suppose it is actually wanting you to go around and do all the little things anyway, but we're not going to do that on camera because that's not going to be very interesting, is it now? The very interesting, well, the fairly interesting thing is to do the actual story. Okay, now we should start recognising the area now because that in the background is actually the place we're aiming for, I think. And we're going to go along the path here that the, what was it, the Stench. Dea, or whatever she's called, or was called, led us round. Oh my god. Roach, stop getting trapped into horses. Okay, fair enough. I wonder if they should have done what uh, the Legends of Zelda is going to try to do, which is to sort of make the horse automatically avoid trees. They should have maybe done that, really. But either way, it's all good. I still don't know whether that game's going to be any good anyway. But, you know, hopefully it will. And hopefully, well, this, one, this game already is pretty good, to be fair, even though Roach does go face-first into trees. So... There was a quest. Oh, have you done? Yeah, that's the quest of the uh, the guy that we did in the side missions. I didn't do again when I uh, went off camera. Okay, let's see up here. Let's see what happens. No, let's not see what happened to Annie. Let's see what the Baron says about Annie, and more importantly, what the Baron says about Siri. And hopefully, the leaders of the world were not powerful enough to put a curse onto her so that we so she dies when in which we touch her. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, you know what, Roach? Wait there with your mate, then. I know you're aiming straight for him, so you go wait there with your mate and have a cup of tea, and I will go all the way up to the Baron, because apparently you can't be bothered to go all the way up this high up. You want to go see your mate, so I suppose it's fine, because you haven't spent the last, what, 20 hours in the bloody swamp area. Okie koki. So, up here, around here, and hopefully you can't hear me clicking on my controller there, but you might be able to. It's better than the clicking on my keyboard, trust me. Okie okay, so, Bloody Baron, hello. Listening. What do you come to me with? I come to you with, I know where your wife is. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? Pretty much. You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Yep. I do, though. He is. He's a drunk and a wife eater. And I'm pretty sure, um, I don't know whether you laid a finger on the daughter, but yeah. Uh, well, yes. My opinion doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Uh, so tell me how... It... So tell me how it was with you, really. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Come on then. What you doing? Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. 
But after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Okay, so your fault after all. <laughs> uh, what happened then? All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Okay, um, that... Uh, uh, you still... Okay, you're trying to defend yourself here and you just told me you killed somebody. Yeah, sure, he, was, he knew full well that he was the cuckold, but, you know... Uh, I'm pretty sure Anna would have screamed her guts off, but seems they call you the bloody for a reason. Guess they call you the bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Okay, what did I say? Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her, felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life. And mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologised, how many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Okay, so seems you deserve each other or you're at fault. I can't say that I care much about this. He kind of slaughtered the cuckold, and then he twatted her, and then she's obviously going to be resentful. She's not in love with him. It's his fault. Um, I don't, I don't think they deserve each other because, you know, he killed. Got only yourself to blame, I think, leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. Ah, sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? 
Uh, your wife is with the crowns. Your wife is with the crowns as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crowns? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them. I thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? Uh, a fiend captured her, or she made a pact with the crones? She made a pact with the crones, and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Uh, do what you want. I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. Okay, so now tell me about City for Chronic Loud. That's the reason why I'm here. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Now the harps play, do they? As the loan screen comes on. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <laughs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Kill the basilisk. I thought a basilisk was like a snake. I guess that's Harry Potter though, isn't it? It's not a... Uh, I'm mixing my... What you... Do I have any... I don't have anything I can fully use against him here. I've got to wait for it to land. I can't even die here, can I? No, I can die. Oh, I can die. Poisoning. I can die. Let's not die. Oh, it's almost dead now, anyway. Come on. Come on. Tiny bit now. Tiny bit. Come on. Oh, dear lord. Did it die? I was uneasy, so I gather it wasn't, wasn't too difficult. Come on, Siri. Save the, Save him. What the hell's happening here now? Oh, he's grabbing the Baron. And shouting the word, f an F word. Okay. So we've now got to go get him. Get to the top of the tower and rescue the bloody Baron. Damn it! I can't leave him like that. No, you can, certainly cannot. How do you get past this? Oh no, do you have to go up the, how do we get up the tower? Now I'm going the wrong way. Do I have to climb up somehow? Can I climb up this? Does not look like it. Okay, fair enough then. I actually have no idea how we get up there then. We can't go this way because there's things in the way. Right? Yes, we definitely can't go through that little hole there. So there must be a way to get up this. How do we get up this? Do we go the opposite direction? Because I have completely... Lo oh, there it is. Bloody hell. Usually it's the simplest things you forget in these things. Hopefully I wasn't timed then, otherwise he's definitely dead. Yay! 
you're not standing with what you're going to fall down what's happening oh wow she did that merger thing she went she did that flying thing all the way up to the top of the tower and then she's going to chop its head off go on chop its head off well not so much off we'll definitely slit its throat Such a badass, I suppose. Oop, and now she's going to try to chop his head off slowly. So that she can stick it on the horse, I guess, and get like a perk. <laughs> that sounds appropriate. He's just seen her whiz around there, so why is he so surprised? Why would he be so surprised? He still is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said something happened he couldn't explain. But. He saw it whizzing around just. I used this up like four times. That that little mere movement thing. I mean, sure, I didn't, I didn't, you know, teleport all the way up to the tower. But how could I? He wasn't up there. Okay. I get the horsey. Eh, nah, 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 nah. Take the black one. You like the black one? Let me take the white one. You have everything? Yes, thank you. She, she's leaving, I see. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. Uh, we're even. That's why I must go. I certainly hope not. It's brought me no small trouble. Meaning? I must flee. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Novigrad it is then, I guess. That's the next area, isn't it? We're currently in Valen, and then Novigrad's the next area. If I had nothing else keeping us here. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Um, how does Siri get past the Red Neon blockade? Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Siri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Okay. Where did you get these letters? Good point, actually. Get these letters. I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So he used the fact that he previously fought against the people that happened to guard the crossing and then I guess he had friends. Whatever. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. Go I save Anna. to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Uh, sure. I guess so. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What the hell is that? Dare you! What the bull? What? What the hell is that? Sorry, we was never it. Did I explain what that? that? You tell me, man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. 
just hideous as Ardle's shit. Uh, where do you get the name? Uma. Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Okay, doesn't look like a monster. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. You won him in a game of... Okay. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Rob the horses blind. One fellow, the merchants, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Okay, now you've got a court jester, so yeah, it's a bit mean. Baron now, even got a jester. Aye, now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No. But he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. We're going to go, Anna. Yeah, to Anna. And prove a good father to her. Oh, we're going straight to Adam now. Is this, what, is this what this is? Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? If there's a position where we can pause here, I'm going to do that to end the episode off. Okay, they're leaving, are they, to go get Anna? And we're here, and that's probably where we can do stuff. I'm a level 10, which probably will help with the whole, uh, you know, going to get Anna business. Okay, okay. So, please click on your links on your screen, and one of them is to my channel. There is a video on Chiptune Champion on there, or maybe a Sims video if I put that one up there. But either way, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Next and previous, well, the, the Ariel Heights, I will go to the next Witcher episode. Please rate, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time on, hopefully, Thursday. See you next time. Goodbye.